The pig no SRM text. It, initially, it was only because it fit. Like, it was only just to fit the size, the length of that section of the screen. But then I made it small, and then people kept asking, and then I made it big again. Just so it fits. You can beat the game as child, but you have to give up an item to do it. So in this run, we end at grabbing Master Sword. If we could ever beat Ganon without giving up an item, we'd probably change it to beating Ganon. What item? You'd have to either give up Gold Gauntlets or Nocturne. Uh, Gold Gauntlets and Nocturne both require a wrong warp to Ganon's castle. Gold Gauntlets, for obvious reasons. Um, Nocturne, you need a wrong warp to Ganon's castle. And then void warp away to steal the timer, and then the timer is used as a wrong warp to Nocturne. Or, the timer is used as a wrong warp to the, uh, Lake Hadia Lab with the Zelda escape cutscene, and the Zelda escape cutscene would be the only other alternative to wrong warp to Nocturne, but we have to use that cutscene to warp to... We have to use BC to wrong warp to Nocturne so that we can use Zelda's escape cutscene to wrong warp to Lake Hadia Lab. I'm thinking this should be like five, five and a half hours for a good run. A rando tracker, that might be good. There's certain things that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't show up, but maybe. Uh, yeah, the, the 39th heart piece, the one in beta Jabu, you can get to that, but you have to give up, um, you have to give up the wrong warp to Nocturne and the Jabu map, because the Jabu map actually shares the same flag as that heart piece. Uh, but th the bigger thing is you have to give up the warp, the wrong warp you would use to Nocturne. I feel like if we had to choose between, like, if, if the choice was only between map and heart piece, it might be better to get the heart piece, just because it'd be more interesting, but yeah, we can't. The thing, we need the Jabu wrong warp to go to DC, only to be able to use Furrow's Wind in King Dodongo's room, and then we can wrong warp to Nocturne. If we could, like, get Furrow's Wind on B somehow, or use Furrow's Wind in some other way, then, uh... We could do that. Yeah, max, max percent child includes extra stuff. That's just interesting to get. Uh, there is max percent adult. I actually don't remember where max percent adult ends. I I don't remember if it ends on just beating Ganon or if they go back in time or something. I assume they just beat Ganon. It starts by becoming adult as quickly as possible, only getting Deku Stick. Get Deku Stick, escape, and go adult immediately. No, I never ran max percent adult. I'm interested though, maybe someday. No, pulling Master Sword is not an item, it's just the end of the run. So no, Light Medallion doesn't count. No, Shiraizo, the map for fighting Ganon is completely different. It's his own separate map. Mars Adult Dungeon Navigate as Child, probably Water. Definitely Water, yeah. Or maybe Fire. One of those two. Spirit's relatively easy. Shadow, there's a few things, not too bad. Forest is kind of just a lot of hovering. No, no version exclusive glitches. In fact, version exclusive glitches... I mean, this category... This category is a for fun interesting category not like some kind of super serious category category would never ban anything that makes it more interesting if version exclusive glitches let you get more items then that would totally be the best thing to do whatever makes this category more interesting to get more stuff is allowed okay this room is weird because i have to so this is a slippery slope like, th this whole thing is a slippery slope, and if you're hovering over it, you can't backflip or side hop, you're just stuck. So I have to hover while Link is above this platform to actually be able to hover, like, to be able to side hop, five, side hop or backflip. So, hovering in this room is really weird, because you always have to be below these platforms if you want to actually hover. But this is a bit of an awkward room. Yeah, I can't even... Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck, I'm on the corner. So then I have to wait for the platform to be below me. Nice. You want to know a fun fact about Dark Link as child? He's actually like in the ground to match Link's height. If you see like... Even though he's based off Adult Link, he's still like basically the same height. I mean, he might look a little bit taller, but Adult Link is like way taller. Five foot ten or six foot. See, the thing about this hover, all that yellow is bad. The gray and the bluish are good. So I have to hover from this gray over to that little square of blue without hovering over the yellow. 
and then back over there. So that's the annoying part of this. I can't, if I ever hover over the yellow, I'm unable to backflip or slide hop. So that's what makes this hover dumb. Recam is going to make it so much easier to understand these hovers compared to the last time I did it. Okay, that should be good. Yeah. No, 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 no. As an adult, you could get out of this with Iron Boots as a child. You're kinda stuck. Where am I finding all these setups? Part from a run I'm watching, part stuff that I did last time I ran this. No, there's no way I get to a run this weekend. That's way too early. Max percent Child is one of the hardest categories. I'm gonna need a solid week of practice minimum. I think last time I ran this, I needed a whole month of practice before I could even do a single run. I think I'm better at, I'm much better at like learning now, so, and getting good quickly. So I definitely won't need a full month, but I'm gonna need a lot of time, a lot of practice time before I can even start a run. Like best case scenario, I, I do a run like last day of the month or something. Wait, you can grab this? Oh. Huh, that's interesting, actually. So, this Skulltula is weird to get because of the rocks uh, that keep falling. The rocks don't like you. And then not only do you need to grab the token, but you also need to fall in the water below. No. You're trying to uh, mega flip into hover onto the Skulltula. There we go. Then you can drop down and you have no speed to get in here. The original method of that trick was even cooler because you used Nehru's Love. You would actually do the mega flip with Nehru's Love and do it as Nehru's Love was wearing off. So the Nehru's Love would wear off mid mega flip. And then by the time you hit the Skulltula, you'd hover. It was really cool. You get the boss key because it's interesting. Maps, comments, and boss keys add an extra interesting thing for child to do. Dude, I hate how good I am at side flip hovers. Because, like, I, I feel like I'm more than good enough to just always do them unbuffered. But in a run, actually doing unbuffered side flip hovers is a really bad idea because if I fail it, it's just like such a bad thing to happen. So like I, I wish I was worse at them, so I wouldn't be so tempted to do them unbuffered. I don't know. Maybe I should just go for them unbuffered in a run and just see what happens. Well, no, I shouldn't do it in a run like this. Max and Child is such a volatile category. I really need to do everything as safe as I can. Bad choice when I go back to being a newbie at OT. You mean like? You mean like one of those like hypothetical, if you could play a game for the first time again? No, I wouldn't do that with OOT. Because I like OOT way more the more I know about it. So like even though I probably, even though like playing the game the first time is cool and all, I like it way more as I learn more about it. Yes, if someone were to do a run that got fire arrows, but it was like a 20 hour run or something, they can get fire arrows in addition to everything else, then free record. That's why it's weird. I mean, what else would you do? The whole point of this category is to get as many items as possible. Like, this isn't a normal speedrunning category. It's meant to be something completely different. This is primarily a challenge category before a speedrun category. No, glitchless version of this run would be completely pointless. Like, the whole point of Max Percent Child is that you get to do cool glitches. A glitchless version of it is you just do child stuff glitchless. It's like, okay. Uh, it's just half of 100%, not even half, like a third. I wish we could get fire arrows. No, the Shroud does not have the really long hover in Fire Temple because we can equip swap hammer now. Which is a bit of a shame and also a very good thing. Because that, on one hand, that was one of the coolest tricks in the run. On the other hand, it literally hurt my hands. Like, it's probably the only trick I've ever done in this game that actually hurts my hands to do. Yeah, the number of items has gone up since my last time I ran it by like six, five or six items. It's a 52 hover directly upwards. 
So you, you try to get the least distance possible. You want to get max height, no distance. You can JM Fire Rose if you are a Tess. Not humanly possible. Check this out. The Goron's Zora Mask are actually useful because you can RBA them for stuff. Yeah, the Goron Mask gives you Zora Tunic. And then guess what Zora Tunic gives you, or Zora Mask gives you? It obviously gives you Broken Giant's Knife. Yeah, of course, Glitchymon. That's exactly how it works. Uh, we would prefer- well, there is no difference between BGS and Giant's Knife. They're the same item. It's a certain flag that gets set when Big Oron gives you the sword that actually sets it to Big Oron sword. Which, there's no way we could ever get as child. Without SRM, at least. But, uh, the difference between, like, Broken Giant's Knife and Giant's Knife, we definitely would prefer real Giant's Knife to Broken, but... This is the best we can do. But like, yeah, theoretically, if we could get Big One Sword or Giant's Knife here, that would be better than Broken Giant's Knife, but this is the best we can do. Well, actually, there's one other thing we could get in this slot. You can actually get uh, what's referred to as Broken in this slot. It's It looks like Big One Sword or Giant's Knife, but you can't actually hover over it. It's like not a real item. It's kind of weird. It's like some kind of placeholder thing. Uh, but that's another thing that you can get in that slot, but we just get Broken Giant's Knife. I think I can actually show it, demonstrate real quick. Oh yeah, this... Okay, yeah, we can get Giant's Knife, but then it deletes Kakiri Sword, that's why. Wait, oh yeah, this is it, this is broken. Okay, see how I can't hover over it? See, there's something there, but the cursor won't go to it. Although, I don't know, I, I wonder if we can, uh, if we could, like, skip, um, the Kiri Sword for long enough to RBA this so that we can... Well, no, because then we can't actually RBA if we skip the Kiri Sword. Dang. I was trying to think of some way that, uh, you could get Giant's Knife. Let me, let me make sure that does say Giant's Knife. Yeah. But yeah, if we could, like, GIM the Kiri Sword... I don't think there's anything. Let me see if I can find the old GIM table. I'm like 90% sure that GIM Kikiri Sword is not a thing, but I'll double check. Nope, there's there's not even anything that gives Kikiri Sword. It's not even that like there's no actual way in game to set it up. There's like literally no chest that gives Kikiri Sword. But you want to know what doing GIM with the Kikiri Sword chest would give you? It would give you your tunic. Does this route include the opponent hookshot jump wrong warp? Dragon Wizard, think about the category again and think about the things required in that in that trick again. I I don't mean to call you out, but uh <laughs> There's there's some um conflicting requirements. You don't get it? You need opponent and hookshot. <laughs> and this is child, this is max percent child. But no, I, I think you're thinking of um, reverse boss order. Reverse boss order would need to do that, but not a, uh, not this. Yeah, I can't ride opponents, child. Sorry. You know what? Now that I think about it, I actually kind of do want to look into trying to do a low tad for fire rose. Because if I can, if I can actually like make a low tad of that trick alone, it might actually be worth it to make a full max percent child low tad just and just so you can uh. Just to have the full thing. Thanks for nine months, Green Days. Nice. Congrats on stealing your mom's credit card. Every new route I do will have a new hook chat associated with it. I mean, I kind of want to. Like, the more I do those, like, those are actually really fun to make. They're good references. Like, they kind of just are a good idea in every way. So I almost want to do one for, like, every route I do. It's just that it takes a while to make. And sometimes they're not, like, that meaningful. Like, I kind of wanted to make one for Nimpies, but like, is it that important to make one for Nimpies? Oh, come on. Okay, that was actually a nice cheat save. You Mac percent child style randos. That actually, that actually sounds cool. I wonder if I should try something like that one day. Yeah, I love those blocks as child. Being able to just like slide with them is so cool.
Rip no serenade. I'm so sad that you can't get serenade in this. There actually is a wrong warp you could do to serenade, but... Alright, I think it'd require Frozen on B or something. Serenade specifically checks if you're adult or not to start the cutscene. No, you couldn't even get it with RBA because you can't get Poacher Saw. Actually, Poacher Saw is like one of the saddest things about Max% Percent Child. Okay, so you can get Adult Trade on, you can get um, Odd Mushroom, and if you were able to get Poacher Saw, you'd be able to RBA significantly more songs. You'd be able to RBA Prelude, Serenade. I, I guess it would actually just be those two, Prelude and Serenade. And that'd be really cool. And you could trade Poacher Saw. The NPC to trade Poacher Saw for Broken Sword actually does exist as Child. He's the carpenter in Kagariko. So you could do that. Um, so you could get the the one broken link is the girl in in Lost Woods that you give uh, odd potion to uh, to trade in for Poacher Saw. What really sucks is that that NPC does exist as child. Also, she's in uh, Kakiri Forest, but she specifically checks if you're adult or child, but not the NPC that checks for trading uh, Poacher Saw for Broken Sword, which is so sad. Because if, if she didn't do the adult or child check, then we could get Saw, we could get Saw, RBA, Serenade, and Prelude, and then we can trade for Broken Sword, and then also RBA Spirit Medallion. But, yeah. So, that one, the one girl, it's even, I can even show, right up here. If she would just take the stupid uh, odd potion, we could get, what is that? Five, five or six more items? That'd be so good, dude. Please. This would probably be like the single biggest thing in uh, that we could get in Max Percent Child right now. I think next to this would probably be like Song of Storms, which gets us a Skulltula and two heart pieces. But this would be like straight up five items or something. Oh well. No, I never ruin a cartridge doing cartridge tilting. That's really over-exaggerated. You are usually not gonna ruin a cartridge doing cartridge tilting, unless you're dumb and, like, really being way too forceful with it. 90% of the time, if you're careful, you're not you're really gonna mess anything up with cartridge tilting. Though, uh, one time on accident, I think I, like, accidentally did crooked cartridge. I don't know, maybe I kicked the N64 or something. And it erased all my files, and I was sad. Uh, I played Star Fox 64 on Wii VC. I never played on N64. Oh, but I remember um, Kirby 64. I don't know if I still have it, but I played Kirby 64 on N64. That game was good. Yeah, Crystal Shards. I think I played like 10 minutes of DK64 on N64, and then I was like, I don't care about this. My my original N64 is the N64 that I used for the N64 Ace runs back when Ace was first found for OG and MM. No, I never played GoldenEye, but I played Nightfire on GameCube. How does Trial enter Dampe's Grave? Uh, we actually void warp into Graveyard from Ganon's Castle so that room 0 is loaded and room 1 isn't, so... It's for stealing the timer, but it also gives you free access to Dampe's Grave, which is really sick.